The Holy Tales. Let me tell you the story of Emily. There lived a young girl called Carol. She was six years old and a very popular girl in school. She was friendly and sweet and everyone wanted to be friends with her. One day, a new girl called Emily came into Carol's class. She was a quiet and shy little girl. She went and sat all by herself in the last row. Carol, who was sitting in the front row, turned back at Emily and smiled to make her feel comfortable. Emily smiled back at her, a little hesitant. The teacher entered the class and began teaching. Soon, the bell rang and it was lunch break. All the children got up and ran out into the garden to play, except Emily. Carol was about to leave the classroom and she looked back and saw Emily sitting all alone, looking out of the window. Carol went up to her and said, Hey, why don't you come and join us? It's fun during the breaks. We all play together. Come. Emily didn't know if she really wanted to go out and play with the others. She was feeling very shy in her new school. But Carol would not leave her alone. She pulled Emily by her hand and ran out of the classroom. She took her out into the garden and brought her to her other friends. Look, we have a new friend. Everyone, meet Emily. Emily, these are my friends. Emily smiled shyly. There was one boy in the group who did not smile back at Emily. He said, No, I'm not going to play with her. I am not playing if she's playing with us. Saying this, he stomped off. Emily started crying and she ran away from everyone. Carol was angry with Tim for his rude behavior. So she made a plan and discussed it with her other friends. Next day, after class, Carol went out to play with her friends. They took Emily with them too. But this time, they did not take Tim along with them. Tim sat all by himself and watched everyone playing together and having fun. He felt really bad. He thought to himself, That's okay. They'll want me to play with them tomorrow. The next day, the same thing happened. Emily, Carol and all of their other friends were playing together. This time too, without Tim. Tim was very angry with Carol for leaving him out. He walked up to all of them and said, How can you all start playing without me? Now, do you realize how Emily must have felt? When you chose not to play with her? Tim realized his fault. He apologized to Emily and they all started playing together happily. So, it is never a good feeling if people don't choose you. The Holy Tales I'll tell you children a story about two brothers. That will lift up your moods. Once upon a time, there lived two brothers, George and Harry. Their father was the owner of a very large farm. But now he was too old to work on his farm. So, one day, he called his two sons and said, Sons, I am old and sick. I cannot work on this huge land anymore. So, I will divide the farm into half and give each one of you half. I know both of you will work together and take care of one another. Soon, the brothers started working together. At first, they were best friends and shared everything together. Then one day, suddenly, they had a fallout over a huge argument and they stopped speaking to one another. Years went by and both the brothers did not speak a word to one another. One day, a carpenter came to George's house asking for some work. 
Sir, can you provide some work for me, please? Is there any work that I can do for you? George thought for a while and said, Yes, there's something I can give you to work on. I want you to build a fence on my property near the stream, which will separate my farm from Harry's. Build a high fence so that I do not have to see him anymore. I'm leaving for town now and I want to see the work done once I am back in the evening. That evening, when George came back from the town, he was shocked to see that the carpenter had not followed any of his instructions. Instead of building a high fence, he had built a bridge over the stream. Angry, George walked down the bridge to take a look at it when he saw his brother Harry walking towards him from the other side. Harry was very happy to see that his brother had built a bridge between the two of them. He did not know it was otherwise. Harry said, I cannot believe you built a bridge to welcome me back, even after all the terrible things I've done to you. Harry reached out for George and gave him a tight hug. George was very happy too. He was pleased with the carpenter that he had managed to bridge the gap between him and his brother. Later, when George went to thank the carpenter, he was nowhere to be found. George realized it was God who had sent the carpenter to bring both the brothers together. I am sorry, Tubby. I shouldn't have been so rude. The Holy Tales Let me tell you the story. Once, there lived a little girl named Jess. She had a younger brother called William. They used to go to the same school. One day, after coming back home from school, they were very hungry. They wanted to eat something. That morning, their mother had baked a cake. They opened the refrigerator and saw there was just enough left for each one of them to have a slice. William slurped, seeing the piece of cake. He said, Let's have the cake with some milk. I'll slice the cake while you go get us two glasses of milk. Jess happily went to the kitchen to get two glasses of milk for them. William began to slice the cake, but the slices were not equal in size. One was much larger than the other. By now, Jess had come to the table with two glasses of milk. William brought the cake and placed a small slice in front of Jess, and he himself took the larger piece. What have you done? You gave me the small slice of the cake and kept the bigger one for yourself? That is so mean! I would have never given you the smaller piece. Instead, I would have taken the smaller piece and given the large piece to you. No! You would have never done that! Of course I would have. I would have thought about you first. William felt bad. He knew he was being selfish. Jess was hungry too, like him. I am sorry, Jess. Here, take some more from me. William cut a piece from his own slice of cake and gave it to Jess. Jess hugged William. They both laughed and began eating their cakes and drank up the milk. So, the moral of the story is that God is good and if He gives us more than what we need, we should share it with those who do not have much. We should never be greedy and keep everything for ourselves. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, 
God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.